has acquired knowledge, wisdom, and strength, and experiences, he penned out the Proverbs. And by the time he grew and he realized that he has seen it all, all the Valentines, all the girls, all the thousand women, all the, and then he penned Ecclesiastes and he said, vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. So this is the advanced stage of King Solomon. That is why if somebody is going to challenge, you don't put their full stop in the person's life where God has placed a comma. Because God has not finished up with them yet. If you have judged Solomon, when he had married thousand wives, you could have collapsed him, break him, cancel him, and put a full stop. But that is not the end of his life. While there is life, there is hope. So Solomon, although he messed up, by the time he grew up, he came to the understanding and realized that vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. And this guy has been able to see gardens. He has changed women. Those who are women have never taken 700 wives before. Nobody here. I can bet you. Thousand women, nobody here. But Solomon had it all. So when you're talking about uh, somebody who could not buy his pen drive, <laughs> can I preach it? <laughs> it is Solomon. He had his pen drive every time loaded, downloading information on the pen drive. So <laughs> can I preach it? <laughs> and for your information, I learned it from Mama, Mama Matilda. <laughs> pen drive. Come on here, can I preach? Yeah. Oh my God, I feel like preaching. Oh so Solomon had it all. In his pen drive, thousand women, he was just downloading, plugging, uploading, and then and changing drives and turning. If and everything, you know, you understand what I mean? Yes. He had a garden. He had musicians. And if you read. Some of the earlier chapters, he said, it's all chasing the wind. Chasing the wind. And you cannot grab the wind. But when it came to the final moment, and I always say that, upon all the things we are doing, upon all the hustling and battling that we are doing, what will be the most important thing is when you are five minutes to your death. That is, you, the decision that you make is the most important thing. They realize that all the things that you have spent, all the education, all the certificates, all the uh, 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 degrees that are under the temperature that you have uh, cannot satisfy. But there is one thing that lasts. That is God. Amen. And that is what one realizes when the person is about to die. And that is the conclusion of the matter of King Solomon. He said, right now, remember the days of your creator. Remember God, your creator, in the days of your youth. Before the evil day or difficult day come, and the years draw near when you say, I have no pleasure in them. You have to remember him. Because there are difficult days that will come. And I will explain. There are evil days that come. But if you know him before those days, now the things that you think they are important, you get to a place and realize that you don't have pleasure in them anymore. One of my favorite sports I like is boxing and football. You can cast it out, but it will never go. <laughs> Especially the boxing. If I see the people wear the gloves and then they do. Yeah, then my spirit comes alive. And, and, and you, you, can't, you can't do anything about it because that is where I was born and bred. So you cannot cast it out for me. I'm an apostle, but I enjoy boxing. And my whole life, I have um, shaped my life that to play professional football in Europe. I was doing well in our course in Ghana Grammicals, in our main teams. And then, all of a sudden, I had a touch of God. And anytime I go to the pitch, 
I feel uncomfortable with my my uh, football mates. And then I'll go to Accra Sports Stadium to watch football, and people will be this. Why are you stop playing? You are such a very good player. So some of the things will, uh, some of the words of the fans will make me think twice. So one day I decided to go back to where the Lord called me from. Because I heard the voice that God has called you and concentrate on this call. One day I went to the football to play and I was playing top among my peers. And I gave a pass to a guy, a guy I'll never forget his name, they call Abu Ghari. And I was calling Abu Ghari, boom, because I, I suffered before running in, uh, uh, I mean, pass the ball. I was standing at a strategic position and asking him to just pass me and then come go. And Abu Ghari was just choking the ball. And then, upon all my sweat panting and everything, they took the uh, ball away from me and lost. And I was deeply hurt and I spoke. Accra National Indian. For you, you not understand it. Except those who are born in Accra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> National Anthem. <laughs> <laughs> Can I hear somebody say Yehua? <laughs> and the way I said the National Anthem, both my opponents and my colleagues, they stopped them all. Today, Osofo has said. <laughs> And they started clapping. Hey, now you are doing us. And they tease me and tease me and tease me. And then they'll go and say, Hey, have you heard the letters in town? Today they'll suffer himself. I said, and that's not there. <laughs> and from that day, I said, You, I will not come to you again for you to tempt me to again say, The national anthem. <laughs> I, I gave up my profession, I gave up my everything for the gospel. But now, I thank God for doing that. Amen. I thank God for doing that because you realize that what you are into, God is calling you into another thing. And maybe your minds and your hearts are <laughs> adhered to another thing. But until you say you have no pleasure in them all. Amen. And the world, the sun, and the light and the moon and the stars are not dark. The sun, the light, and the moon, the stars are your face. Today you can stand on the mirror, take some um, eyelashes, lipstick, pumps, and, uh, and get some. Uh, uh, your face is now bright, but there will be a time that you put face coat on your face <laughs> and it will never bright. There are certain times you go and pull your face, uh, uh, adjust your face, face lift, but it will never work. Because all the days of man has limitation. The things that you are able to do currently, or maybe those who are old, they will tell you that some of the things they used to do many years, they are not able to do it now. I used to run every morning for very wide radios, but now if you ask me to run, I can't. But that is why you have to remember now, your, your Lord God now. Many people think every day is Valentine. So in Valentine, they want to make good use of it. But Solomon was talking about his father. His father David was a good man. But once upon a time, he realized that, well, he was watching pornograph pornography film, and it was a life, whilst he was working on the upper room. The Bible said there was time when kings ought to go to battle. But he decided to stay. And the, 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 the danger is not going to battle, but the danger is staying behind. Many people think when they come to church, they have a problem. The, the, the danger is not coming to church, but the danger is staying at home. Where your minds and your everything is empty, the devil will take a pornographic picture upon your mind. And David saw 
a naked woman bathroom. And then we say, oh, well, this woman looks nice. Let me take one nice stand. <laughs> one nice stand. There you, oh, there you, you read the Psalms and you saw what they say, uh, 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 this person is married to three wives and even Aunt David. Nobody is perfect. He has all our mistakes. And then we read some, the Lord is my light and my salvation, my said, and whom shall I fear? That man took a one night stand. And that one night stand gave him a great problem. It rendered his house. His son raped his own daughter. His son married his own son. And his son also raped David's own wives. What are you talking about? The man who said, Jethro, I walked through the valleys and the shadow. I'm talking about David. One night stand. So as you are celebrating Father Time, remember your Lord, your God, in the days of your youth. Amen. Before the evil days come, and David had so many women that when David was about to die, they brought a woman by the name of Adisha. And the woman has a therapeutic hands. Can I say, can I say it again? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see, and the woman was blessed with therapeutic hands. That if David was shaving, the woman would touch David and David would be warm. Wow. Wow. Somebody say Jehovah. Jehovah. And even that woman, the woman was a virgin. And they brought the woman before David. And David was not able to touch the woman. Why? Because the difficult days had come. Those that time when he was uh, downloading his pen drive and he was injecting and taking information. But now, David, and he was checking, the, the, the king is dead. The king, the king had no pleasure. Why? Because there is a time limit to every man. So if you don't remember your God, the evil days may come. That is why you have to remember your God now. And he said, in the days when the keepers of the house tremble, the keepers are your legs. They keep your house. They keep your hands. They keep your house. So there are certain times you see people walking with an aid of a stock and they are shaking. But it is not that time that you must remember your God. It is now. Before the keepers tremble. And the strong men bow down. I was saying that a few years ago, if you have seen me, this youth could not call me. I was a big, big guy. I was saying that I was about 100 kilos. When I was coming to Belgium, I gave all my suits out because I tried to be model. <laughs> <laughs> I was big, big, with big shoulders, big. My chest and my holders are so big with mantle. So I gave them all out. And there are certain times your macho will come like this. Your keepers will tremble. Some of the old men you see them, if you have seen them in their youthful days, they would have been so powerful. But you have to remember your Lord, your God now. And then the grinders cease because they are few. The grinders are your teeth. There are some old women and old men, if you see them, there's nothing in their mouth but their are... Why? Because the grinders have ceased. And now, your mouth is so beautiful that you can kiss. But if they get to that third, and you don't remember your God now, even that kiss, when you get there, I remember I was watching one of the videos, an old woman, who was going to celebrate their birthday to put the candles, and while she was going to blow the candle off, the next time you did You must remember the Lord, your God, before the evil days come. And the grinders come through. And those who look through the windows, go deep. Now we can see things clearly. You can see who the latest man is, who the latest girl is, but there are certain times your eyes will go dim. And Isaac got to that stage where his eyes were growing dim, that he has to even bless the unfavorite child instead of the favorite child. Eli was in the house. 
But the Bible says his eyes were growing dim. Eli didn't start as an old man, eyes growing dim, but Eli started as a young man ministering in Israel. But before these evil days come, please remember your God. Amen. You can show love to your uh, uh, Valentine, but in everything, do it without sin. Do it without sin. Remember the Lord your God in the days of your youth. Amen. Somebody say, Amen. 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 And the sound of the greatness is low. When one rises up at the sound of a bell, and the daughters of music are brought low. Right now, uh, I know of a guy, he set an alarm and he slept. The alarm was blowing and blowing and blowing, but he was fast asleep. Because a young guy, they called him, they poured water into the room, he has locked himself, and people thought he was there until they were calling police and everything, and then he, mm, mm, mm. not only, the guy was fully there, uh, uh, asleep. But you get to a, a place that even a bad sound will wake you up. Because now you are sensitive to everything. That is the exact time that you must, uh, you must remember your God before that time comes. And then the sound of music. Today, as we are singing the music, we all enjoy it. But if an old man or an old man will be here, whatever we are doing, the, pe the person will not even enjoy What are these people doing? They are creating noise. But you are, you know about the music. You know about the life. Email and as uh, uh, Naya was leading us, it was so wonderful. But if an old man, they have no uh, uh, interest in music anymore. So this is the exact time that we must do something for God. 